Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to make a beautiful map like this in easy and simple way in just Microsoft PowerPoint and using Excel. Let's get started. So guys, this is a simple map. Uh, to keep it simple and to make it uh, to make the video less uh, time consuming, I just selected a few top uh, 10 states of the United States. So I'm going to show the population wise how you can do that using a different dynamic range and you can make it uh, more beautiful in different ways. So I haven't selected all other states and just kept them as uh, green which I will also show if you want you can also change this color for example if I change it to light gray something like this it's up to you okay so if if, I, if you want to do like this you can do like that but if you have more time you want to, you have to do more work you can easily do that. So now let's move to the main point. So first of all, I just tabulated a data, which I'm going to show you here, right here. This is the uh, Excel data, which shows the population uh, in, uh, in not in millions, but simple numbers, uh, the population state-wise, California being the highest in Texas, Florida, New York, and then follow, following down, it is uh, the lowest one is Wyoming something, which is 578,000 people. So I've just converted these population into millions. So to keep a smaller scale will be more easier to handle. Then now what I have done, I will show you uh, slowly one by one. So now first of all, uh, I've hidden some uh, uh, columns, so I'm just going to undo them. So what I've done is that I find the maximum values from this so that I can create a frequency distribution or class distribution like this over here. So I found the first maximum value which is like this and it says the California, this first value is the highest which is 40, 40 million a population uh, per state and the minimum one is around one which is not even one, but it is some around 4.58. Okay, so it's just a round of value. Now I found a, a difference between these two and in order to uh, make differences like different columns. What I've done is that I've divided all of that with number of 10 classes. That means one to four will be one, five to eight million will be one, nine to 10 million will be one class and so on so forth till 37 to 40 million. Now what I have to do is now is now, first of all, before doing that, I have to find a color scale also. So for this color scale, what I do is I simply go to Google Chrome and then I have a website here or just found a website which is more easier to use, which is colorbrewer.com or colorbrewer2.org. So what it does is that it gives you different options for color mapping. So normally it's difficult for you to find a color, which color to use and which color to decide. So what it does is that it tells you which color combination will be good for your graphs. So in this case, for example, in sequential case, it gives a sequence color, like means darkest and then a gradient down below. Similarly, you can choose different colors. You can easily see what happens. Now, if you want to create diverging colors, that means different colors from each other. And you can also increase the number of colors that you want. For example, if you want number of colors as 11, it will create a dynamic range and will give you the, uh, those uh, values. So now what I'm doing to do is that I have 10 classes, so I will do 10 colors. And similarly, I will take a screenshot, which I've taken here. And then I will go here to edit, copy. I will paste my range over here, just as shown here in the graph, in the Excel. So now each class, which is like this, is like this. For example, each class should have four. I rounded up this value. Now starting from the lowest, which is one. So I will do like this, one to four, then five to eight. What happens is that this is the base value. Then I added four again. Then I added four again in the previous value. Again, added four in the previous value. And then similarly for adding four again until I reach to number 40, which is my 10 classes. Then the range will be like this one to four, then starting five to eight, then nine to 12, and then so on, so forth to 37 to 40. Now each color have given color. So one corresponds to darker brown color and 10 corresponds to darker green color. Now we have to decide which state falls in which class over here based on color. So for example, I've given the range from one to 10. So for example, California is 39 million. So you can see that 39 million falls in 10. So I've written 10 over here. Similarly, if you see Pennsylvania, it is three because the population is 12.8 and 12.8 is also included in this range because I've considered that from nine to up till 12.999, the corresponds to number three. So I've done and classified all these like this to keep it simple. I just done the 10 uh, first 10 states. If you want, uh, if your work requires, you can do more on that. I just to save time. I did just for 10. Now moving back to Excel, what I've done is that I've copied these classes here. I'm going back here in my graph over here. <clears throat> so first of all, I will show you what you, how you can manage the graph first. So for graph purposes, what I've done is that you can go to this uh, website, which says, uh, let's say, yeah, 
commons.wikimedia.org it gives you files uh, all the excel files that you all the svg files that you need for example let me go a little bit back here you can see that this is the main wikimedia uh, commons this can provide you high quality or svg images what svg images does it gives you each and every portion separately so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to do download this file if i click on this one it says i'm just going to cancel this one and now we'll have an option here to download once i click here it will say download original file once i click here the map will be downloaded here now we'll drag this one and bring it back to microsoft powerpoint so this is my main graph now if you can see that i cannot edit anything over here right now so in order to make it editable you have to right click click on group and make it ungroup now it will ask you this is an important picture not a group do you want to convert it to microsoft office drawing i will say in yes and now it will be a separate file with different images i will show you how so before i used to click it couldn't do anything but now if i click you can see that each individual part can be selected i'm going to select here and click on group and ungroup so once i ungroup them i can see what happens i'm quickly going to remove these uh, scales over here now there's something like this which shows the boundaries of the map which we don't need, which can we can draw easily by ourselves. I'm going to delete this one. I'm going to select all this again. I'm going to go to shape format, put an outline as white because we have a dark background. Now we are going to give it a color, let's say a little bit darker color. Or if you want, you can give it a lighter color as you decide. I'm going to move it here, something like this. Similarly, the color bar which I created in Excel, I'm going to copy this one and I'll paste it here. So now, in order to understand which state is which one, I have to see and I have to check from the maps here which you can easily check it out for example if this is the if this if this is so if this is a detailed us map you can see that different states are marked which says california and this arizona texas uh florida new york and illinois wisconsin michigan so you can easily see these states over here and so that i've easily plotted these ones so now what you have to do is, for example, if California was falling in the range number 10, so I'm going to give it a number 10. So number 10 corresponds to this one, starting from 1 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I'm going to go ahead and make California as blue color. I'm going to take an eyedropper. I'm going to select this one. Now California corresponds to this one. So let's talk about Texas. Texas is also one of the biggest uh, states in size in terms of population. So far, I, I think so. It also looks bigger. So Texas uh, falls somewhere around uh, with a population of around 28 million which falls in number 7 which you can see is somewhere here. So number 7 corresponds to uh, shape fill, eyedropper, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. I'm going to select this one and this is done like this. Now, if in order to write the names of the states you can just write CA like this. I'm going to turn it to white, make it times new roman. I'm going to break it down over here and put it here. If you want to make it bigger size, you can do that, but normal size uh, based on the overall images that you can see that some, some areas are smaller, so you should keep an appropriate size to keep a uh, balance between all the images. Now this is Texas, I'm going to do this Texas and I'm going to do it like this. So guys, you can do the rest part also like this, you can change different colors and uh, different colors based on this gradient and also using the graph over here or the, tab the data over here and you can uh, easily do them one by one. So guys, I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys found this video useful. You can also try it for different maps if you want another map, uh, map of another city, country or a city or a detailed map for, for uh, province or districts or states. You can easily find that in the website which I have shown over here or any website that you uh, may find useful. So I hope you guys like this video and hope you have uh, learned something new. If you have any questions, please leave your comments uh, down below and I will try to get back as soon as possible. If you haven't watched my previous videos, do watch them. And if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. Till then, take care. Allah Hafiz.